Hello, Abiela David is my name. Welcome to my Excel, Power BI and SQL Server lecture video. In this lecture video, I want to talk about how to calculate running total and percentage of running total in Excel, Power BI and SQL Server. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to click on equal sign. Now, we have the same data for Excel, Power BI and SQL. So we're going to be comparing the whole thing after we completed the whole process. So I'm going to start by typing equal sign sum and I'm going to reference the value in cell G2 then colon. So I have this. Now I'm going to lock down this section of the reference with absolute then control enter. So I'm going to send it down then since my calculation is my formula is actually correct, control shift down arrow, control backspace. I'm going to ignore all the errors. So, for example, the sum of these three transactions here in row number two to four is actually this, which is 2808.82. And in our status bar, we have exactly the same thing. Correct. Now, let's calculate the percentage of running total. So, for that, I'm going to use equal sign, reference the value in cell H2, and I'm going to divide by the sum of all my total. Control shift down arrow, control backspace. Now the H2 will be relative, it's going to move down to H3, H4, down to H1040. However, I actually want my G2 to G1040 to be absolute so that when I copy the formula down, the formula doesn't jump down. So I'm going to just select this section and F4 to lock it up. Then I'm going to close my sum, control enter. So we can see, send it down with the orphan. So, control down arrow. We have 100% absolutely correct. Let's head over to the Power BI and let's do the same thing. Now, I'm going to do the same thing using the row by row context. So, I'm going to be using the DAX calculated column. So, I'm going to click on the new column in the calculations group of the modeling tab. And I'm going to call the name of the column as running total. So equal sign. I'm going to use the calculate. Then I'm going to use my aggregator, which is the sum function. And I actually want to aggregate all the total. Then close my sum. Then for my filter one, I actually want to use my filter. And I'll be filtering the transaction underscore TBL. Then for my filter expression, I'm going to be filtering the order date here. So I'm going to use my less than or equal to, and I want to check the earlier date from my transaction underscore TBL date. Then close my earlier function, close my filter, and close my calculate. Enter. Let's see whether we're going to be correct or not. Absolutely correct. If you check it out, we have 1828, Let's go back to the same thing, the Power BI 2338 in the second line of transaction. Correct. Now let's calculate the percentage of running total. So again, click on the new column. So we're going to call this one the percentage of running total so i'm going to use my divide function and for my numerator i'm going to take the transaction running total that i just created calculated column then for my denominator and i'm going to use the sum of the total in my transaction underscore tbl table close my sum close my divide enter Okay, so I'm going to use the percentage in formatting, and we're going to see that we have exactly the same thing we did using the row by row context. Okay, can you see we have 0.19, 24, 29, 32? Go to Excel, 0.19, 24, 29, 32, 44, and so on and so forth. We are true with Power BI. Now let's head over to SQL Server. Now, in my SQL Server, I have my database that is named Running Total, and I have my table that is called transaction underscore TBL, exactly the same data. So 
I've actually, you know, comp I mean, use the running total as my available database. So I'm going to select now in square bracket order ID, close my square bracket, and I want to select also in square bracket my order date, close that all, comma, and I want to select my product, comma, my price, comma, my units, comma. The shipping cost in square bracket shipping underscore okay shipping cost then close that all then comma I don't want to return the total also comma so I'm gonna use the sum function here and I'm gonna be summing up all my total then close my sum and I'm gonna say over let's continue down here over then open another parenthesis then i'm going to say order by want to order it by order date then close my square brackets close this up and i'm going to put in an alias and i'm going to call the alias in double um, square brackets running total then close that up i want to select it from our transaction tbl absolutely polite now let's run the query can you see that we have the order id order date product price and this is what you are interested in the running total can you see we have exactly the same thing i hope you enjoy my video now i'm going to record another video that is going to tell us how to undo this date time and display only dates so thank you for watching my video once again bye